So in today's video, we are going to be discussing Tyreek Wright's departure from Bradford City. The Aston Villa loanee has been recalled and it looks very likely he'll be joining top of the table, Plymouth Argyle, the league above Bradford City on a permanent basis. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bar. On. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Don't forget as well to get your thoughts down in the comment section down below. It's absolutely devastating from a Bradford City point of view. You know, he's been very good for us so far this season. When he originally came in on transfer deadline day in the summer, he was kind of one that was swept under the carpet a little bit. He came and I think his signing an announcement was at 8 o'clock in the morning, but a lot of Bradford City fans at the time knew about Dion Pereira returning to the football club. That was then announced at 10 o'clock and obviously with how good Dion Pereira was for his last season, he was kind of swept under the carpet the signing of Tyreek Wright. Since that day, though, I think Tyreek Wright has been two, three, four levels above Dion Pereira. Pereira's had a really, really poor second stint with Bradford City, but Tyreek Wright has exceeded all expectations from him, to be honest with you. We all thought he was going to come in, maybe be a bit part player, play every now and again, but he's been absolutely fantastic since coming in on loan from Aston Villa. I'm absolutely gutted that he has gone. Obviously, Plymouth did need a replacement for Morgan Whitaker. Do I think he's obviously up to that quality of Morgan Whitaker? No, he was obviously on loan at Plymouth Argyle, but he was recalled by Swansea City. He certainly wasn't very happy about that. Tyreek Wright's going to go in. He plays as a left wing, or that's certainly where he's played the majority of his football for Bradford City. He can also play on the right wing. He's absolutely rapid as well. He could probably even do a job as a striker over our last two couple of games. He has been playing as like a second striker. We've been playing a target man, and he's been playing as the pacey striker. He's one of the fastest players I've seen at Valley Parade. The guy is absolutely rapid. I'm gutted that he's gone, though. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well, and let's get into it. So I think it was either Saturday night or maybe Sunday morning. Lots of rumours suddenly came out of nowhere that it looked like Tyreek Wright was going to be departing at Bradford City where at the start of the January transfer window we all thought that all our loan players were going to stay before we get into this though about Tyreek Wright it has been confirmed Romney Critchlow will remain a Bradford City player he's played so many matches for us so far this season that Huddersfield now don't have the option to recall him which is big news for us because obviously the loss of Tyreek Wright is absolutely massive like I said though it was rumoured yesterday and it wasn't just rumoured it was you know pretty concrete when Simon Park is doing articles about it and tweeting about it that is when you know that it is pretty concrete news 10 o'clock though this morning Bradford City tweeted saying breaking news Tyreek Wright has been recalled from his own spell by parent club Aston and Villa. Hashtag BCAFC. The article does then read, Wright returns to Villa. Tyreek Wright has been recalled from his loan spell by parent club Aston Villa. The 21-year-old winger returns to Villa Park after arriving at City on transfer deadline day. He made 17 appearances in Claret Amber, scoring four goals. Bradford City AFC would like to thank Wright for his service as a bantam and wish him the best for the future. Now, we're going to get into some of his in-depth statistics from this campaign. He played 15 times in the league, starting 12 matches, averaging 75 five minutes per game. He scored four goals, averaging a goal every 281 minutes, averaging 1.1 shots per game, 0.7 shots on target per game. He missed three big chances with a goal conversion percentage of 24%. All four of his goals were from inside of the box as well. He scored three with his left foot and one with his right foot as well. He got two assists. He also averages 34.7 touches per 90, created five big chances, averages 1.3 key passes per game as well. 80% passing accuracy, 88% in his own half, 60 57% in the opposition half, 56% accurate long balls, 38% accurate chip passes, 26% accurate crosses as well. In terms of his defensive stats, this is something that I do think kind of went a little bit under the radar, to be honest with you. His defensive work, you know, he did get a back and track back quite a lot of the time, even if you're in the 75th, 85th minute. He gave it absolutely everything. He ran himself into the ground every single match. He averaged 0.3 interceptions per game, 1.0 tackles per game, 0.7 possession wins per game. He was dribbled past on 0.3 occasions per game and he also averaged 0.6 occasions per 90 as well. He averaged 0.3 dribbles per 90, 44% of them have been successful. 52% of his duels were won by him, winning 53% of his ground duels and 50% of his aerial duels as well. He was fouled on 1.9 occasions per game, averaging 0.9 fouls himself per game and and he also was caught offside on 0.6 occasions as well. Now, he's obviously had a previous couple of loan spells in League 2, which haven't really worked out for him so far. You know, he scored one goal in nine appearances for Colchester at the second half last season. One goal 
in 16 appearances for Salford in the first half of last season. He scored zero goals in 16 appearances for Walsall as well in 2021. This has been his first real success at this level and I wouldn't say he's jumped ship because I don't agree with that. I do think he deserves to do that and if it comes down to a footballing decision, which it does look like that is what has happened here, then you know you can't blame someone for being fifth in League 2 in a playoff battle to go into top of the league, probably going to be playing in the Championship next season. Do I think as of right now he's good enough to be playing week in, week out in the Championship? I would personally say no. I think he's got enough quality in him to do a decent job at the level that Plymouth Argyle are currently playing at. Now he's not going to set the world on fire. Don't expect him to be as good as Morgan Wicker because you know the the gap between the higher end of League 2 to the top end of League 1 is massive to be honest with you. Like if we were to play someone like a Plymouth, an Ipswich, a Sheffield Wednesday, I personally think we comfortably get played off the park in my opinion obviously. Tarek Wright is a big loss for Bradford City but we've kind of not really wasted too much time in trying to find his replacement. Now as of right now at 9 minutes to 7, nothing has been officially confirmed but again tweeted by Simon Parker, tweeted by a lot of reliable news outlets and also West Ham put an article on their website at midnight and only took it down a couple hours after that so it is confirmed just not officially yet when it does officially get confirmed I will bring that video for you obviously there's been so many videos over the last couple of days with it being January so much happens and I just can't there's not enough days basically to get all the news out and my reaction to everything so some days there will be a double upload like today I uploaded my match preview for tomorrow's match early today at five o'clock so make sure you go check that out if you haven't already but Bradford City seem to be signing Thierry Nevers Neveres I'm not really too sure how you pronounce his name but another winger looks like on loan from West Ham United now on West Ham's official club website they did put an article out saying Thierry Neves joins Bantams on loan and that has obviously since been taken down but in terms of some other news outlets who have reported it West Ham winger set to complete Bradford City move after Aston Villa transfer decision West Ham United forward Thierry Neves again probably pronounced his name wrong let me know how you pronounce it down in the comment section down below he's close to heading back out on loan for the second time this season and join a side who are eyeing promotion out of League 2 West Ham United's young forward Thierry Neves is set to leave the club on loan for the second time this season to join Bradford City. Football.London understands that while the deal is yet to be officially completed, Nevers is set to finalise his move to Yorkshire imminently despite a now-deleted announcement on the West Ham Club website on Monday lunchtime. Nevers, who spent the first half of the season out on loan with Newport County, is set to be heading back to League 2 and will play under former Manchester City manager Mark Hughes at Valley Parade should the deal get completed as expected. While at Newport, Nevers made 17 appearances in all competitions for the South Wales outfit, scoring once and providing two assists in the England's fourth tier. However, he only made seven starts for Newport, two of which were in the Papa John's Trophy. If signed in time, Nevers could make his debut for Bradford on Tuesday night where they play host to Rochdale in League Two. The Bantams currently sit fifth in League Two in the playoffs and a point clear of those outside of the top seven. The movie set to come following the news that Aston Villa winger Tyreek Wright's loan spell at Bradford has ended early with Wright set to join League One leaders Plymouth Argyle. Wright scored four goals and provided two assists in 15 League Two games for Bradford. That's actually quite a good return to be honest with you. He's still got in though that he has gone. Like I said, if it comes down to fo a footballing decision, you absolutely cannot blame him for leaving. There is just that little part inside of me that wishes we had an owner who invested in the club and we might have been able to offer him some wages, which probably would have likely seen him stay. Unfortunately though, whether we've matched them financially, just that it seems like that incentive of playing at the high end of League One, potentially playing in the Championship next season, has obviously seen Tyreek Wright move on from Bradford City. It's probably something that's kind of come out of the blue to be honest with you we obviously Mike Hughes only a couple days maybe weeks ago saying that he doesn't expect any of the players to move on this has unfortunately happened he was out of contract with Aston Villa in the summer so they've got a small fee for him Romney Critch thought he's out of contract with Huddersfield Town in the summer as well I believe I believe as of right now that we can approach to sign Romney Critchner. Now, I presume we're actually being smart this transfer window, which is something we've not seen over the last couple of seasons. So I would presume that we have maybe already tried to offer Critchner a permanent deal, but he's probably waiting to see what league we're going to be in. I think a lot rides on what league we are going to be in next season. If we're not in League One next season, we're going to lose some big plays, which is going to be a massive shame. But anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on their form. If you could try and hit 70 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be absolutely class. Subs, if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on this departure as well down in the comment section down below. It's absolutely gutting. Plymouth, you have got yourselves a very, very good player on your hands. All the best to Tyreek Wright. 
Hopefully it does go on and smash in. Hopefully Plymouth are promoted into the championship. Don't forget as well to check out my match preview if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all tomorrow for the Rochdale at home match vlog and potentially even another City signings episode. Peace.